The police officers first used a stun gun on Alton Sterling. He was tackled to the ground. Then one of the officers yells. An officer then shoots Sterling twice at point-blank range. He pauses and then shoots him again. An autopsy shows Sterling died of multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and back. The police say their officers responded to an anonymous caller who said a man selling CDs had threatened him with a gun. One eyewitness said after Sterling was shot, police retrieved a gun from his pocket. That has not been corroborated by any other source. Louisiana is an open carry state. With some exceptions, adults can be armed if the gun is visible. The mother of Sterling's 15-year-old son is distraught and is calling for an independent inquiry. As a mother, I have now been forced to raise a son who is going to remember what happened to his father. Black lives matter, man. Why the police acted as they did has yet to be determined, and a key question will be who investigates their actions. The Department of Justice has already opened an investigation. Civil rights groups are calling for more. This incident is only one incident in many. What we're going to do today is root out the 1% of bad police officers that go around becoming the judge, the jury, and the executioner of innocent people, period. But more specifically, innocent black lives. What I'm calling for today is that the uh, chief law enforcement officer, which is the mayor, to fire the chief of police immediately. Police commanders say the officer's body cameras fell off during the shooting. The police are reported to have confiscated surveillance video from the shop where the shooting took place. However, the incident was captured on several other cameras, including mobile phones, and then shown on social media. Thank God for Apple. Thank God for Google. Thank God for Microsoft. Because if not for them, uh, maybe we wouldn't be here today, right now. The investigation and the protests continue. Shri Habertansi, Al Jazeera. <clears throat>